This is supposed to be turning into separable. I think we're almost there right now. So it should be somewhat clear it's separable. Well, if you look back at the theorem, it said homogeneous turns into separable. There we go. All right, what mistake did I make? So I got x's, u's, and y's. I should be using two variables, not three. So where's the mistake? We're looking at this line. So I took y out, replaced it with something else, so that, of course, is going to change dy. So when you take out y, you got to change the dy as well, just like any normal substitution. So our dy is going to be significantly changed. So let's compute that right now. I'm going to compute it with just the d operator. You could do a ddx if you want to, but I'm just going to go with the uh, d operator because it's usually faster. We got. u dx plus x du equals dy. And now we're going to swap the dy out for this. You're going to find that substitution is something you're going to do quite a bit. Just make sure that you are in two variables at any given point. So before we had x's and y's in the line above, and now we should have two variables, in this case, x and u. If we went with the other homogeneous uh, version, we would have y's and u. So we should have two variables. All right, take two minutes and try to separate this out. You really want to group up your, we got two dx's. You want to group by dx. Why am I allowed to just cross the u's out, or cross the x's out? There's one every turn, but you can't just erase them. So it's super important that we had zero on the other side. If I had one on the other side, I'd have one over x. But now I have, we could write zero over x, but we know that's zero. So it's super important zero is on the other side. Good question. Did I just forget a plus? I think I just didn't write a plus. Yeah, so the u minus the negative sign. U minus u minus sign. That looks good.
I'm just guessing on this antiderivative. We have the right one written down. I think it has an LN in it. Yeah, the cosecant antiderivative. Oh, I'm thinking cosecant inverse. all the inverse equations. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think I was right. We're super close. Oh. Cotangent. Okay. Oh, it was really close. Stupid negative signs. All right. So this is good enough, uh, except for one last thing I have to do. What's the one that I can't leave it in this form for what reason? We got u's in here. So u, we need to unsubstitute back out. That was y over x. Last time I taught it, I will teach it another week from now, but last time I taught it is when I taught you that. Thanks. Uh, that being said, I've taught the class more than once. This is not my second time teaching the class. All right, so questions on this right here. I think solving for y is out of the question. Forget about that. Or solving for x. Forget about that, too. I don't know the way we would deal with that, basically the fact that those two are added together. Uh, if they were multiplied, we'd have a shot. I could write as a sum, but not with y in there, two different places like that. There's no solving for y. Maybe you ask Wolfram to do it. Probably. Do a lot of things. Any other questions? Good place to stop.